Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you how to export audio and MIDI using the convenient functions that are up at the top of my screen. So if anybody's familiar with the MPC software, we can probably go ahead and skip the intro. But in case you're not, just to let you know, anytime you make an audio clip or a MIDI clip in the MPC software, you can always click these buttons at the top of the screen where the arrow's at and you can export them into another DAW like Pro Tools or Ableton Live just like that. You don't have to bounce out the whole wave or do any kind of craziness that'll stop your workflow when you're creating your masterpiece. So what I'm gonna do is program a quick drum loop, export it in audio and export it in MIDI and show you how it works. Just to let you know, the controller's not hooked up right now. We're doing all this on the computer. All right, buckle up, let's go. So yeah, I already know that was pure fire, right? Not really, but quick drum loop. Now, let's go ahead and export the audio. As you see, I go up to my top right. I'm hovering on the button just so you can see what the text says, but I'm going to click that button. All right, notice when I click the button, it went from grayed out to red. Now from there, that means that the audio is ready to be exported and all I have to do is click the button again and drag it into another DAW. In this case, I'm gonna use Ableton Live. Hold tight, let me go ahead and transfer that. Now notice the audio clip showed up right in Ableton Live just how it was exported. If you want proof, I'm gonna go ahead and change my settings in Ableton Live so you can hear the sound. Now notice there's a little bit of delay on the drums. That's just because of the audio effects I had on the track before I made this tutorial, my bad. But essentially, you get the point. It made the audio clip ready to prepare to put into Ableton with very little effort on our part. So with that said, let's go ahead and import the MIDI. Same process, we click the button, now the MIDI's ready to go. Let's go ahead and import that into Ableton Live 2. All right, now notice the MIDI data has been imported too. Now from this point, you can load up a different set of drums and you'll still have that same timing, same tempo and everything that you had in the MPC software. The only difference is you're not gonna have the exact same drums unless you've already preset it that way when you set up your session. So essentially, you can do what you wanna do at this point. Maybe you have MIDI, maybe you have like MIDI notes with pianos that you were playing, but instead you wanna change it out to something like a harpsichord or whatever, you know? At, at least this way you can save the MIDI, import it into another DAW, it doesn't have to be Ableton, it could be Pro Tools, Cubase or the like, and you still have all the data that you need. Same thing with the audio. And that my friends is how you export audio and MIDI in MPC 2.0. That's Drum Machine Addicts, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. If you have a question, hit us at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. We'll see you next week. Peace.